unless you're at BP, you uh, will eventually have to upgrade all the other ones. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah. Animal bears. You gonna wild awesome. out, kid? Alright, so, uh, so yeah. Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite, or like if I ever give thought it to, uh, what's, what's a favorite of mine, of his bits. Uh, I, I sent, uh, I sent my sisters the same clip of, uh, at the same time of, uh, Eric Andre, like, standing in public, you know, with a suitcase, and, like, a woman's in the suitcase screaming. What the fudge? Like, trying to get, for, uh, reach out for help, and people are, like, uh, trying to, uh, actually trying to, like, open it up and get the bag away from him, and he's like, no, 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 no that's just my bag, that's my bag, why are you going to my personal space? Like, Ellie was horrified, but Akal was laughing, he's like, yes. Americans want to be here so bad. Yeah, we do. I, I think that's one of the things <laughs> that we do right. Sometimes, like, people on the street will help you out. I don't know. I thought it was hilarious. I th I, I was rolling. It was gut busting. Yeah. I uh, mean, it is funny, man. I think, uh, you know which one got me? The, so I haven't seen all of his bits. Not another have I. I've seen most of the interviews, like parts of them. Uh, but <laughs> one that made me laugh so hard was the continuous freaking joke uh, about uh, Investigate 311. Yeah. Our, uh, they, they did that once to uh, Tyler the Creator, and he just went along with it. Yes, that was the. I think that was the end point. It was yeah. either that or another interview. But uh, when when they did that dance with Tyler the Creator, I was like, yes, this is this is perfect. Yeah, it's exactly what I want from this show. What was it? Uh, I think. Uh. uh the Pauly Dew uh, interview was uh, was one that I liked a lot too, and I had to get extra context from uh, uh, from people who watched Jersey Shore because like the bit, the jokes, the bits were, were they weren't getting to him. He was like going along with it. Yeah. And then I had to get extra context from like uh, cousins, sisters, uh, sister that uh, that Pauly Dew like on the Jersey Shore was like the jokester. Oh really? Yeah, he was the prank guy. Which explains why Eric Andre getting naked and uh, and, and uh, saying that he was born a woman. Polly D, instead of freaking out, was dying laughing, saying, I knew it! <laughs> Bro. Oh the cast of the Jersey Shore gets a bad rep. They seem like chill people. They do. Sh it's sh just, you know... It's shout like out to the situation doing hard time. It's... <laughs> He was, okay, but the situation, though, even back then... He's, he's almost not human. The And the behind the scenes, like, okay, I didn't watch the Jersey Shore, but I watched the behind the scenes thing that said that he was doing hard drugs. Yeah. Like, I didn't watch the hard. Jersey... I didn't watch the Jersey Shore either. I was grinding Pokemon levels while, while someone in the background was watching it. While you guys were watching Jersey Shore, we were grinding Pokemon levels. It's so and it was all worth it to nowadays not even like Pokemon. I don't. I, I, like, I hate the direction it's going. I like. I like. I, I, let me rephrase that. I like Pokemon. I, I, uh, I dislike Pokemon because I love Pokemon. Yeah. Mystery Dungeon like seems like it's fire, but uh, or seems good, but not the not the main games. If yeah, you, yeah. If you want to play a role playing game on the Switch, play Dragon Quest Eleven S. I hear that even freaking uh, oh, frick is that game called the the one with the little cat creature? Ah, uh, frick! It's like a red cat, something like that. Uh, it's a Pokemon ripoff. I forget, but I hear that even that game is better. Yeah. It's uh, uh Yokai Watch. Yokai, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yokai, Yokai. Uh, speaking of uh, yeah, Dragon Quest Eleven right. S, th uh, that game's gonna be on. Uh... Lunch, don't go out there! Don't go all out right, there! All right. 
Uh, that's going to be on Game Pass. I don't know how many people who, uh, who are getting an Xbox even like role-playing games, but I'm going just, to just put that out there. Yeah, the... Uh, but yeah, it's because like Pokemon has the potential to be so much. Literally, the like... I think it outdoes the Avengers as the most money-making you, franchise. You gotta, like, grind the, the bottom, yeah. Yeah. Millions of dollars. Yeah. And then you look at uh, the newest game, and, like, you see, like, oh, not every single Pokemon is in there. The graphics are, like, okay. No voice acting. No voice acting. Pokemon Masters has voice acting... But the main fra uh, main franchise game doesn't. We gotta, we gotta, Clint, we gotta progress. Yeah. Yeah, the main franchise game, and uh, you look at Pokemon Snap. <laughs> We've only seen a preview. I don't even know if the game is done. It might even be like alpha level right now. Right. But uh, if this generation of Pokemon could have had those graphics. And have every single Pokemon, like, I, I'd be down. I would, I would jump the frick back in. I would jump the frick back in. Also, I kind of was spoiled by uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, where you could make every single Pokemon, uh, every single Pokemon, every single character the strongest it could be. Yeah. I mean, like, eventually you gotta start using other heroes, but... Like, weak guys with, like, low base stats can be made good. Yeah, like Donald, my favorite hero. I, I've seen like builds of Donald where he does like where uh they have him do like uh the grand hero like a uh, infernal, and he takes no damage. <laughs> you need to pass that one to me. Are are you gonna merge him and like well out for like a bunch of like crazy skills like solo like like solo four? No, I'm not. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> then you're not doing these, these, these crazy builds I'm talking about. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's because, like... Yeah, I... It's a shame that some of the Pokemon with, like, good designs will never be, like, truly competitive. Uh-huh. And you would have to grind them out, like, if you're doing the normal story. Well, the first problem with the normal story is mm -hmm. that it, um... It only goes... Like, you can only go through it once. Yeah. You can't do it all over again with a different Pokemon. So, uh, levels only matter for that much of the game. Um, and then if you're looking competitively, some Pokemon will never be able to fight on a decent level. Yeah. What was it? The another thing about uh, the thing about Pokemon is that and why uh, what I think it probably won't change without this massive criticism is that uh, is that there's no reason to no. like Sword and Shield are like some are some of the best selling entries in the series. Yeah. Uh, they'll make their money. Uh, they're not. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that they aren't even leaving money on the table because they're getting the bag anyway. Yeah, they are. It's it's potential that they're leaving on the on the table. <sighs> yeah, it's unfortunate. Like, yeah. And granted, I haven't played the game myself, but three, <laughs> uh, three out of four friends. Who have played, uh, uh, that, that I've been talking to a lot recently. All three of them have played, uh, Gen 8. And all three of them have said that it's, that it's bad. And these are Pokemon heads. Like, guys that are, Way that have played it. every Gen. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Paper Mario. Anyway. A series that's completely on track. Not a blemish. To be made unlike Pokemon. Right, Ned? Man, Frick Sticker Star.
Paul D like on the Jersey Shore was like the jokester. Oh really? Yeah, he was the prank guy, which explains why Eric Andre getting naked, and uh, and and uh, saying that he was born a woman. Paul D instead of freaking out was dying laughing, saying, "I knew it." <laughs> 